Hello and welcome back to my channel. This book review is all about The Shadow Watch by S.A. Klopfenstein. Stein? Stein, Stein. I always am confused about Stein or Stein, so I apologize. <laughs> it's one of the two. So I'm going to read the back summary of this book as always. For centuries, the Oshan Empire has ruled their new world with terror and blood. The Watchers have been eradicated and their sorcery is but a whispered myth. But the heart of magic beats on and as it surges back to life, three young people will determine the fate of the world. Tori Borodai, a strong-willed slave girl, her magic could reignite a revolution but only if she resists the ruler who wants to use her powers to restore the empire to its former glory. Darian Redvar, the idealistic soldier she loves, his rage leads him down a dark path to power that could turn him against the one person he cares for. Kale Andover, lordling rebel with a torturous past, his quest for a weapon of dark sorcery will thrust him into a twisted game of power that could change the world forever. Will the return of magic transform the new world or bring it to ruin? Now, I was gifted this by S.A. He was very kind to send this to me for free, but that did not hinder my review, so don't at me on Twitter. Okay. What I liked, I'm always impressed with indie writers because yes, this is an indie writer and book. Amazing cover. I'm going to get to that soon. Always impressed, as I was going to say, about indie writers that seemingly do everything a traditional publisher would hire others to do. And he pretty much did that. Specifically speaking, editing, because I only saw a few typos. The cover look at this cover because it seems no it is extremely professional and it's so beautiful like this is the back fantastic marketing that the author did for his novel was very impressive as well he has quite a few reviews you know how hard it is to get reviews and i really didn't see that many one or two stars or even three stars which is very good a good sign i'm 100 percent impressed obviously if you can't tell <laughs> by the overall feel of this book i love the world building i couldn't find any world building plot holes other than a curse word in this world that he created was introduced in the beginning was in normal text but afterwards, anyone who said it, it was italicized, but that's all I got. I can't find anything else. The characters' names are awesome. Astoria, Ren, Vashti, Kale, Minna, Ashi, to name a few. Also love the names of regions, races, and cities in this novel, which connects to the great world building. It's very original to me. I haven't heard or seen these names before from what I've read. There were a lot of twists and turns and surprises that I didn't see coming that goes against the usual fantasy cliches, especially with the love interest. I'm not going to mention anything else, but that was a big surprise and I really enjoyed that. Now, what I didn't like, the only thing I had an issue with was the first like 65 or so pages were very slow. It took a while to build up to the climax of the story, but then it dipped into the story and then it was a fascinating read. So I'm going to give this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. The 0.5 was deducted in this video because of the slow start. However, I did give it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I totally recommend this book for fantasy lovers, 100%. Thank you so much for watching my book review and shout out to all the fantastic indie writers. I realize that I'm putting this out in May and the movement for indie writers was in April, so I apologize to S.A. But at least I got it in the first week of May. I hope he sees it 
in that way. <laughs> so thank you again for sending this book and I am definitely going to be getting the second book in this trilogy that is out now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great reading day. Bye!